This past week, I saw a question in the Android Apps subreddit with someone asking how they can skip to the next song and go back to the previous one by only using the volume buttons. The highest voted answer to this was to use an automation app like MacroDroid. And while that is definitely possible with that application, it requires either root access or the ADB trick in order to set it up. So if your phone is rooted and you like MacroDroid for automating things like this, or if you don't mind using the ADB trick, then I certainly recommend you give that a try. However, there is a much easier way that this can be done on Android, and it's by using an application called Button Mapper. This can be downloaded from the Google Play Store for free. It does not require root access or any ADB modification, and it can be set up to skip tracks to the next one or go back to the previous one by long pressing on a volume down button. Now we can find this application by doing a search in the Play Store for Button Mapper. Just make sure that you're downloading the one from Developer Flare 2, as there are multiple options to choose from. And I'll also link to this specific application in the video description below, as this developer is well known within the community and has been doing this for many years now. Once installed, let's go ahead and open it up and we're just going to swipe through this onboarding process. Now it does mention granting root access to unlock some additional features, but that is not required to configure the long press actions of the volume buttons. So we're just going to swipe through that. However, it does require us to grant the app an accessibility permission. So let's do that when we are prompted. As we get into the application itself, the setup process is pretty straightforward. First, we'll tap on the volume up option and configure it so that we can skip to the next song we're playing. We do this by enabling the customization feature with this toggle here. And then we're just going to select the long press option from within this list. Now we're going to select an action from the drop down menu, we're going to tap on media. And since this is the volume up button, we're going to have that long press action go to the previous track. With that set up, let's go back to the main menu and then configure the volume down action. Again, we need to enable this customization via the toggle and then choose the long press action here. If you're not still on media, go ahead and select it. And now the volume down long press will be to go to the next track. Now that both of these actions are set up, let's give it a quick test. I'll be using the YouTube music application in today's example, but this should work with just about any media application for Android. Once we have something playing, we can press the volume down button and it will skip to the next track in the playlist. And long pressing the volume up button will make the application go back to the previous track in the list. We can still change the volume up and volume down with basic simple presses. 
It's just the long press actions that are changing the tracks in the media application. Button Mapper is a great free application for setting custom actions for certain button presses while also allowing you to change the default action for buttons on Android in general. I've previously used this application on Android TV devices to change what pre-programmed buttons do, which allowed me to press the Netflix button to open up the Plex application, for example. I highly recommend everyone check it out and tell me what you think about the application. The customization possibilities are quite vast with an app like Button Mapper, so if you've used it in the past, then I would love to hear how you set it up on your smartphone, tablet, or Android TV device.